Hello, this is Robert Newman. Thank you for joining us today for a tutorial of IDX Broker. This, of course, is an add-on program that you should already have to your real estate website. You probably accepted the sign-up for this product over the telephone, and once you did, uh, we explained that there'd be a process in order to get this set up. You should have received your paperwork. You should have already filled it out, sent it in. And at this point, you should be in possession of a approval email that's going to say agent image colon IDX Studio approved. If you can enlarge in your screen, you'll see exactly what that email looks like. Now, this email is going to contain your login information for the actual IDX account. Once you receive it, you want to go and log in. first thing that you're going to see is going to be a dashboard. You do want to take a look at what the dashboard features are. What does it track? How does it track them? This of course will be a measurement of success and will allow us to discuss the improvement of these statistics as time goes on. What I'm really going to be covering today is pretty much exclusively lead management and iPhone application and I am going to briefly touch on managing users. Uh, this tutorial is going to primarily be for either agents or small brokers with anywhere from two to ten agents. If you're larger than that and you don't see a tutorial to tool available for you, please get in touch with me and I'll make one. Uh, so let's go to uh, manage leads. Now your leads feature or tab is at the top of the screen. It's one, two, three, four, five, six tabs over on the right hand side. You're going to click on it. You're going to see that uh, in our demonstration here that you've got a couple of leads already entered. Uh, I'm not going to cover this too much. What I do want to cover is lead registration preferences. Okay, this is going to be the screen that actually uh, is, this is how the registration preferences trigger, okay? Lead registration on search pages means that somebody does a search, they've got their information selected, in this case we'll select Alhambra, uh, they've got their bedrooms, they click their search button, this is a search page. I do not recommend that you either request or force registration on search pages nor on result pages. What I do recommend is that you set it up so that when somebody is going to look at a detail page, and this would be a detail page, at that point they're asked to register. So if they want to come in, they want to look at photos or they want to look at the description or any of that, then they're going to have to register with the site. But they can see as many search pages, that's these, as they want. Okay, you have lots of other options here. I've just shown you what my recommendation is. I do uh, recommend that you come back here and uh, perhaps play around with the registration. Uh, change these options, figure out what works best for your audience. Real estate is uh, geographically based, every uh, population center has different habits, so yours might be different than somebody else's. I am giving you what I feel to be the best universal answer, but only you are going to be able to figure out what is the absolute best answer for your own audience. Now just a couple of other things to point out, is that once uh, registration has been triggered, the text that your prospect sees is editable by you. Uh, the message that they receive is editable by you. The uh, you uh, can set this up so that uh, the lead strength can be dictated by you. They could have to answer a verification email and a variety of other things. Um, 
There's a neat lead syndication option if you have a top producer account. All you have to do is click yes, fill out the information, and now the leads that are gathered by the system will be auto-populated to your top producer account. And I know that that feature is very important to some people. As mentioned before, you have a uh, an iPhone application for your IDX broker account. If you'd like to let people know that you have this available on your website, all you need to do is copy this text down here and email it to support at thedesignpeople.com and we will make sure that it gets onto your website uh, homepage. Uh, if you think that you have people that use iPhones, this would be a handy feature to enable. All right, so I mentioned earlier that I'm going to briefly touch on managing users. Managing, uh, if you have agents that work for you, they can come back here and create a bio and have their listings connected to their name. Uh, it's a useful feature if you actually have agents. If you don't have agents, uh, this is certainly nothing to worry about. Okay, just two other things to touch on. If you do have a team, uh, there's something called contact routing. You get to it from your dashboard. Contact routing just allows you to set it up so that your team can get leads distributed to them automatically. Uh, again, another handy feature, but only if you have a team. Okay, and last but not least, uh, whether you have a team or not, you'll notice that under lead management, it's going to, there's a field that says export all leads. This is a field that's going to be used if you want to do email marketing. All you have to do is click that uh, menu option. Uh, the, your leads will be exported in a file format that almost all email campaign managers use. It's an Excel format called uh, CSV. You label the file so that you can find it again, put it on your desktop go to eye contact, to constant contact, upload the file, and you now have uh, data that you can use for your email campaigns. Uh, this tool should be, uh, should, should enhance your lead generation uh, efforts a tremendous amount. If you have any additional questions, please email robert at imforza.com. I'd be happy to answer any further questions. Please don't forget to leave comments uh, on this video. Let me know if there's anything I can enhance. Uh, anything I can take out, uh, or just your opinion in general. Thank you very much. I hope you found this useful, and we continue to wish you the greatest success.